So guys, let me give you another advice when you come to Monaco. You probably have some spare time, it might be raining, or you just want to do something else than shopping, shopping and shopping, or watch the beauty and rich guys and girls here in Monaco. There is the Top Car Museum, a museum that is located in the center of Monaco, um, easily accessible by foot, so you don't need any car. And it's an interesting museum. I've been here the first time today. Um, since today, Takahaya is the official sponsor of the Top Car Museum. And it's a museum that belongs to Prince Albert, of course, His Highness, Royal Highness. And it's an exhibition of a variety of amazing cars. So from sports cars to race cars, Formula One race cars, to amazing Rolls Royces, De La Hayes, um, and some other cars you have to discover here. There is also the legendary car uh, in which uh, Princess Grace was the first time when she arrived by ship to Monaco, drove into the palace. So there's a lot of emotion also in here. So if you're interested in cars and if you come to Monaco, don't miss the Top Car Museum. And uh, as I told you, since today it is uh, sponsored officially or helped or uh, Takao is the new timekeeper or the official watch of the Top Car Museum here in Monaco. So that's a good place to be also if you want to spend some time here. So and this is how the museum looks like when you come in. This is I'm standing at the entrance. It was um, there was a party today. I waited a little bit longer until the crowd um, got back home or left. <laughs> People come early, go early, so there are other parties here. And I took advantage to wait a little bit to be able to show you more the cars than the people that were here today to open up uh, the first, uh, let's say the, the first time uh, Takahara is uh, open up the partnership Takahara is now having with the museum. And you can see it's huge, so it's uh, two floors full of cars. All the cars in here are working. So we just had the occasion to see a Bugatti that has been started by purpose and the car was running and the guys who take care, it's a father and son who take care of the museum, they told me that they are bringing out the cars week by week, day by day, on the road, very early in Monaco. So if you come to Monaco and all of a sudden you see, let's say, a car you're not, to, you're not used to see on the street, that could be one of the cars of the top car museum here in Monaco. So take your time if you come here and have a look and enjoy history in terms of cars. I'm still here in Monaco at the Top Car Museum and what we see here is the famous Chrysler Imperial dating from 1956. This is the car in which Princess Grace was driven up to the palace when she arrived here in Monaco by ship. It's a legendary car, a lot of emotions as you can imagine and it's the original car. It has not been restored, it's the car as it has been the car when she was arriving, Princess Grace, here in Monaco. And look around, amazing Rolls Royce. We have Mercedes Benz, Rolls Royce, Della Hayes. It's amazing. It's a really beautiful museum. And there's one also, one uh, one item, or well, let's say one ex, uh, one. Uh, motorbike that is exhibited here that's a Delahaye look wow simply amazing town and country car with the woods and the door fantastic just look around guys it's fantastic you have to come here enjoy that museum this by the way was the Bugatti that was running um, some moments ago I was not able really to film there was a huge crowd standing around it so, but uh, I can assure you this car was just running and the cars are functional here. So it's really worth coming and seeing and enjoying, enjoying the exhibition of historical cars here in Monaco. Uh, so this is, uh, uh, I told you, for hunting, pour la chasse, the Ford Brake, look, Ford Brake. The chasse from the 1937 used by Princess Prince Louis II, Louis II. So 
amazing cars with a lot of history here. Um, a Jaguar, fr a ja uh, Jaguar from 1937 uh, used by Mr. Stefano Casiraghi. So amazing cars. Also to be discovered here in Monaco at the Top Car Museum, a collection of Rolls Royces. The one you see in the picture is a Rolls Royce dating from 1927, the Type 20. This is a Rolls Royce Type Phantom 1 from 1927 that belonged, as I just announced um, some seconds before, to Yves Piaget, the guy or the family who founded uh, the Piaget watch and jewelry company that is now owned by Richemont. Uh, look at this beautiful, un incredible Rolls Royce Phantom 1. So, and if you're wondering what this is, guys, this is the legendary golf Porsche that was driven at the time being by Joseph and Derek Bell. That's also here exposed in Monaco and the Top Car Museum. A legendary Porsche. Um, as history tells, this car was very difficult to drive and uh, quite risky to keep it on the street. Uh, who is this? Uh, of course, we all know the guy. Wearing a tag hire, a hire, my Jesus Christ tag. There was no tag at that time. Wearing a hire. A legendary actor playing in the 24 hour Le Mans. You know who he is. Who he is. Of course, it is Steve McQueen. So I'm sure that you all knew, of course, whom I was talking about. But just in case someone saw the video and said, oh, why isn't he telling me who the guy is? It's Steve McQueen. He was. Uh, playing um, a driver in a movie that's called The 24 Hours of Le Mans and uh, he was wearing a Hoya watch at the time being and uh, he created a mythic area, mythic, mythic, it's a mythic video and he's a mythic actor so unbelievable guy, Steve McQueen and still here the car of Joseph and Derek Bell, the famous Porsche, the Golf Porsche.